Good morning, Max. Good morning. It was so much more fun four years ago being really right beside you to look at this medal, but we'll do it long distance here and to say congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so proud of, of everything that went through today and in, in the past years. Uh, this medal means so much to me. I'm going to get into past years in a second, but I want to bring back that moment. As you were watching that flag, looking at that medal, and hearing that anthem for you, take us through it, Max, the emotions and the thoughts during the medal ceremony. Um, I, I'm honestly on a cloud uh, since this afternoon. Uh, I'm surfing a cloud, and I'm just, uh, I can't believe what's happening. You know, uh, everything, uh, there's so much things that happened since the last Olympics uh, in four years. Uh, three years ago, I was laying down on the hospital bed, uh, going through 12 treatments of chemotherapy. Um, I had no muscles, no energy, uh, no cardio, and uh, it was even hard for me to think about a week later, you know? I was just focusing on making it to tomorrow. And to be able to do my passion again uh, and be out here today, at at my third Olympics, uh, do the best run I've ever done in my entire career and win gold with that. Uh, it's completely insane and just, it means so much to me and I, I really wanted to, to, to do the best I could to, to grab a gold because it's also the medal that uh, was missing in, uh, in the books of all the contests I've done. So this medal means a, a lot of hard work uh, and a lot of things to me. I love there was just a moment where you just looked skyward and you closed your eyes. It was like you couldn't even believe it, taking it all in as, as you had that medal and as you listened to O Canada for the very first time of any athlete at these Winter Olympic Games in Beijing. Okay, you, you already have told us a little bit about this. And am I right in saying it was three years to the day you were receiving chemotherapy, having been diagnosed with Hodgkin's yes, lymphoma? Exactly. I mean, at that point... Yes, You're not even exactly thinking of snowboarding, ago. are you? You're just, it's survival, I'm sure, at that point. Uh, it's definitely the survival instinct. Um, I got to say, I was thinking about snowboarding because snowboarding is my passion. It's uh, what I've been doing since I'm nine years old. Uh, it's, uh, it's my life, pretty much. That's what I do uh, all, the, all around the year uh, for the past 10 years. So, of course, I was thinking about snowboarding, but I was feeling like a lion in a cage because I wasn't allowed to be uh, snowboarding at that time. So it was definitely really hard. Uh, but I was definitely not thinking uh, about the next Olympics at that time. Uh, absolutely not, you know. Uh, you're just really focusing on making it to the next day because uh, going through chemotherapy is the hardest thing you can possibly go through. You know, in any Olympic Games, I mean, there are just incredible stories that inspire, that lift us up to watch. And you've already given us one on just day three. I'm thinking, you know, people looking to you as, as an inspiration. You've done a documentary about your life. Life is a gold medal. But what would you say by way of message to inspire people, given where you were exactly three years ago, Max? Yes, um, ex exactly. And, and for the documentary, it's, uh, it's on my website, maxpro.com, if you want to go watch it. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I think it proves that anything is possible. Um, if, if, if you always keep thinking po positively, uh, even through the, the hardest moment, and you, you make your best to make it to the next day, to the next day, to the next day, uh, at some point you'll reach your goal. Um, and that's what I've been doing for the past three years. I had absolutely no days off. Um, so yeah, I think it really proves that anything is possible in life. The documentary named Life as a Gold Medal, and that's led to a gold medal for you right there. That's extraordinary. You're going to have to change the ending, or at least put on an extra ending to update the documentary to include this. Uh, listen, when you're, yes. when, you, when you're thinking, I don't know, have you had a chance to talk to your family in Bromont yet? Have you, have you spoken with anybody and shared some, some private time that you can tell us about? 
Um, just a little bit. I, I, had, I had a phone call with my girlfriend just a couple minutes ago, uh, but I was really quick because it was between interviews. Uh, they just woke up uh, because the contest was in the middle of the night for, uh, for, for them. Uh, but actually, can't wait uh, for my media tour to be over and uh, get back on the phone with them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still have more questions. Give me one or two more minutes. Do you mean to tell me that your family slept right. through the night and they didn't? Get up to watch you live at 3.30? No, 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 no. They were they, there. They, okay. they were there. <laughs> they watched. Uh, but them. after the contest, they went, they to, went sleep. to sleep. <laughs> okay. I didn't. Well, I thought maybe we could be breaking the news to your own family that there you were with the gold medal around. Of course, <laughs> they were there to watch. Okay. Uh, listen, you're not yes. done yet. Look ahead. Look ahead to Big Air for me. What's in, what's in store for Max Perot and Big Air? Uh, I hope it's another gold medal in store. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I think I have the tricks uh, to do really well over there. Uh, I just got to land them at the right time on the right day. And uh, hopefully I can uh, catch another gold medal. Well, you're Canada's first gold medalist of these Winter Olympic Games. Olympic champion. Just put that on for me, Max, and tell me what that feels to be described in those terms. Um, to say that I'm, a, I'm, I'm an Olympic champion means uh, so much to me, uh, means a lot of hard work, means uh, so much, uh, not just to me, but for my whole team surrounding me, uh, because I could have never got that uh, without my team. We all think snowboarding is a solo sport, but it ain't at all. Um, I would have never got there without all of my team, so I'm definitely thanking all of them. Um, and to, to say that I'm the champ, I'm the champ for the next four years, uh, which feels amazing. And uh, I mean, it's a, it's a medal that I'll carry uh, with me for the rest of my life. So uh, it really means so much. I'm going to let you get on the phone with those you love at home in Quebec, but I appreciate the time. You are a champion to so many for so many reasons, Max Perot. Thank you for sharing the story. Thanks for sharing the celebration. And hopefully we have another conversation after Big Air. Sounds good. Thank you so much.